All right, guys, I don't know what's going on, but you know, we've been getting some questions about, you know, the wedding and stuff like that. And I don't know why some people are saying, it's oh, you, like you guys said it was in July and the yeah. wedding is not in July. So you guys canceled the wedding, blah, 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 blah. But it's really <laughs> not. So basically, um, yeah, we're going to get into everything and explain everything. And we post it on our Instagram for you guys to ask us questions. So, we're gonna be answering them, mates. So, basically, first out of the gate, um, well, anyways, you wanna do a, hey what? guys, this is not Mates, I just woke up from a nap, that's why I'm a little tight. <laughs> Hello, mates, it's Naka and Dominic. So, uh, we did change the date of the wedding. Yeah. Uh, it was originally like we had said in July, and then the people who've been watching us for a while, they know that we have actually been saying it's off. Mm -hmm. So it's still in October. So originally I wanted to get married in June, but then no oh, June, one not July, so. in June, <laughs> in June, but not a lot of like our family and friends could make it and it was too like short ish notice. So we decided to move it to October, but yeah, October, June. A lot of times like because we live in a tropical climate, a lot of people come in the tropics like Mexico, Caribbean and stuff around when winter starts anyways mm -hmm. right so in october fits a lot better yeah. because like on my side my family was coming in october anyways so it kind of just fits and as well like i do have my brother that had a newborn baby so he can't travel until a certain date as well so just like nearing october mm -hmm. is just it just fits it fits you know like yeah, you know, one of those games puzzles and my dad's birthday is in october too so it fits it's good. so and for us you know we're excited, but at the end of the day, a, it's little, so far. a little bit more time could be good too because we can plan yeah. like perfectly, you know, so. Which is a mm, lot. Planning a wedding maybe? It's, yeah, it's a lot. And like our wedding is going to be very simple. Yes. Yeah, small. And it's still like a lot. Like mm -hmm. we're in the process actually too. We're going to go see some venues tomorrow. So we might take you guys we along We could bring you guys yeah. to go see the venues with us tomorrow. There's like a lot of people who want like a wedding series or whatever. So I think we're going to film a lot of stuff about the wedding. Yeah. For you guys, you guys are excited. I, I would say almost as much as us, but we're extremely excited. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be a long day. There's a couple of venues, but just, we're excited too. It's complicated because we want it on the beach. Yeah, know? we want like very specific. Yeah. Like it's not extravagant, but we want the small things we're gonna do yeah. very specifically because it's important and to us. And literally right? all the villas are booked up. Like they're mm. all booked because everyone's coming to Mexico for vacation. So everything is booked. It's so hard to find a, an available villa. So it's like, we're, it's just, it's extremely stressful right now. Maybe. The, and like, the things too, like oftentimes, like we find a perfect villa, <laughs> but then what happens is that like, they only want to book it for a whole week. Yeah. So we only need it for the event. Yeah. Right? So we're not going to pay like that amount of money for the whole week. Cause obviously yeah. like to rent a villa is expensive. And I right? don't want to stay out of, like, what are we going to do at a huge ass mansion for a whole week i like uh, to be at home we can do a lot of things okay <laughs> but yeah the, like the other issues are like we'll find one that the perfect you know like the outside will be perfect but, the but then the inside, inside will be like extremely oh. dated and like it doesn't have the space we want inside for the people that will be coming right so it's very like a niche thing yeah. to say or like let's say for example on the outsides would be perfect or like the inside be perfect the yeah. backyard's perfect but then it's not on the beach yeah you know so, so like we want to be just because like the people coming we want to make it special for them yeah. as well not just for us mm -hmm. right so we're trying to have everybody in mind mm -hmm. so for us we care them. more about the outside i find if yeah. it, i like right now that we're in like we don't really care about the inside of the house and you, like it's just mm. it's too much so it's more so if the outside is perfect it's on the beach yeah. who cares about the inside we're still gonna take that's it. where like the venue is gonna be yeah. mostly outside and right you're mostly, yeah your outside and, will yeah be fine. and i think at the end of the day the thing that's kind of funny for us is that, like if ever i think the inside is really not nice we'll just come back to our place yeah we'll come back <laughs> so. home i feel bad and like <laughs> our guests too no one's really gonna sleep there i think so, so yeah. some people will yeah, some will yeah sure, they can yeah. sleep there it ain't a problem yeah but whether i mean it's gonna be banger guys it's gonna be nice so super excited and as i said banger there was a bang so yeah we, we, know, we know it's going down mates so. these people here upstairs i don't hmm. know what they're up to Next question. Oh yeah, okay. So someone asks you, will you have someone had asked well I think it's because I mentioned it in my previous video that I didn't know if I was gonna have a wedding cake, but they asked, are we gonna have a wedding cake? You know? I don't know, I feel like it's a waste because 
unless we get like a gluten free like there's a lot of like dietary issues like within mm. our families so it's hard to get a cake that fits everyone you know so like dominic's mom she can't have gluten but then it's not fair for everyone else to eat a gluten-free cake just because of one person right my dad can't have sugar so it's not fair to not to have a no sugar cake just because of one person and then so and so like like lactose free cake like so it's just it's too much so i don't know maybe we'll have like a fruit salad or something like that <laughs> we're talking about that so the cake thing because of everyone's restriction it's just i don't want to get a cake and for it to get thrown out just because like three four people my brothers are gonna eat it you know <laughs> so i don't eat like, cake really anymore yeah both he, my parents yeah they like, don't they can't really eat regular yeah. cake my I, dad I can't me personally like I don't care too much for a cake. I don't eat cake, so yeah, I'm, same. I feel like I don't. I don't know why there is there. A, why is it a thing to have the cake like to cut the cake and stuff like? I don't know. I I don't get it. I don't know. I'll do it if Naka wants to. You know no, what I mean? I don't. But Maybe like, I'll have ice cream. Like everyone gets ice their cream pop cake of or ice something. cream. I don't know. I or guess you like, could have no like ice cream. cream cake. No, not ice cream cake. Like an oh, ice like cream a, tub. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like there's gluten free ice cream. That's there's true, no yeah. sugar ice cream. Like healthy. Um, like strawberry ice cream, fruit ice cream. Okay. So maybe we'll, because it's gonna be in a house, you just have it in a freezer. Time to cut the cake, cut a slice of ice cream. Like, so okay. I don't know. The cake, it just. We'll see. We'll see. Mates, we may say we're not gonna have a cake, and if you see Yo, us think... with, a, with a cake, don't our be ideas, mad at us, mate. I just change, yeah. you know, it could change next week, next month, or whatever. Yeah. As we get closer, we discover things that we want and that yeah. we don't want. Let's Wrinkling up, guys, but yeah, you know. Yeah. Things. All right, next question is this is a really good one, Mace. Will you teach your kids Spanish? 100%. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, think I so. mean, I won't. I don't speak Spanish, so. I would like to, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah, they're going to Of course, go to school, yeah. yeah. Well, I might and say, like, it's a Mexico, maybe. It's going to be, so, of course. Like, yeah. obviously. They're gonna also learn it by themselves too, yeah. because you live in a, in a country that speaks Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. So, they're, it's probably to. gonna be their second language. I feel like, especially if you're born, most of the times, I don't know. I feel like if you're born in a country, you the kids tend to, to speak, speak it the language because of, of the school country. and their friends. Just by going to school with their friends. The, yeah, everyone in the neighborhood. Yeah, like they play sports yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So. So it's yes. gonna be by default. TV shows. They're gonna I'm gonna brush watch. up on my Spanish too. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna teach us Spanish. You can always improve your languages, you know? Yeah, exactly. Next question. Naka, I had a dream you were pregnant with twins. Do you have baby names picked out? Well, Naka has yes, a dream I do. about twins all the time. All the time, mates. All the time. But I do have baby names, but it's not for certain. I kind of like stopped on the baby names. It's too hard, mates. And I was like, you know what? Let me wait. That way I'll have the like sense feeling. Should you wait? Like if you pick baby names, do you wait till you know the gender? Or you pick oh, names yeah. of two genders, you know, you pick like the gender, you know what I mean? Like, I if think you pick you... names before you know, but you just pick both female and male, or it doesn't Some matter. people have names for their boys already and then the girls, but mm. for, I feel like we should wait for the gender, because what if you think it's a girl and then it ends up being a guy and then you have to like pick I think, the names? I think like... too, like the names change, like the names that you like mm -hmm. over time tend to change. Mm -hmm. So, but. I mean, it's always in the back. Sometimes we'll just be there and be like, hey, that's a good name, write it yeah. down. We do have a list though. Yeah, we do have a list. Naka has an extensive. No, I deleted some names, list. mate. Hmm. Next question um, Are you guys going to be matching at your wedding? Oh, you mate? I guess we're going to see. You, you're, you guys are going to see. You guys are going to be so like. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything, mates. Mm. <laughs> I'm not giving anything away. You guys are gonna have to see, see to believe it, mates. Okay, last but not least, are you guys getting pregnant on your honeymoon? No, cause I'll already be pregnant, sis. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, uh. we're getting pregnant in July. I'll already be pregnant on our honeymoon, maybe. Speak it into existence. Maybe we'll have triplets. You gonna pop another, oh, another <laughs> one in there <laughs> on our honeymoon. So we mm. think we're getting twins, but we might get triplets. 
quadruplets, six duplets. Anyways, guys. I'm gonna draw the line after maybe triplets. I'm a. <laughs> I mean, even triplets. Yo, triplets is a lot. Cause, like, I only have. But, yo, whenever I picture like twins or triplets or whatever, like sometimes I see pictures of pregnant girls and they big have like belly. big bellies, right? So in my head, I'm just like, yo, like, if you got two or three, like. Like it must be heavy. Low key, like more painful. Not painful, but like you know, harder because you know, like it's heavier. You know, you have more that you, well, on birth it's longer. I don't know. I might be wrong, but I feel like that's how I feel like, when, when I picture that. I see like, oh, well, the birth is gonna be longer. Like I feel bad for you. You know, like the ankles will be more swollen. Can you imagine this, like the hormones maybe? Imagine your baby know. is six pounds and you have three of them. Well, there. that's what I'm saying. Like let's say like the average like if your baby is like six or eight pounds or whatever, you have two. That's Twice as heavy, you know. Imagine you have three. Oh my god! Uh, that's no, starting no, to be no, like, no. like 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 your back. You that's know? Like, so true. I never thought like, of that. Even even if there's six pounds, I've got triplets. That's like twenty pounds almost. Is it pounds or ounces? It's pounds. It's pounds. Yeah. yeah. So imagine like like that must hurt, you know, yeah. like in the lower back and stuff, and like the shoulder. I don't know, but that's why I'm gonna do core workout. Yeah, a lot of massage will gone. That's why I feel like you gotta be like 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 you gotta be on on your grind, get ready. But yeah, guys, anyways, anyways, that was it, mates. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully we cleared a couple things, you know, a couple confusions. Um, we have a lot of new subscribers, so I would suggest to watch our how we met and stuff like that, because we do get a lot of questions on how we met, how long have you been together, mates. Mm. We answered all of that in our previous videos. And if you want to know, like to search it, just write like, Nakadam, how we met. <laughs> like knock it on first date and it's, it's gonna pop up that's true but, and then if you got more questions that aren't there then fine put them in the comments because yeah. we will answer them as we go along in the videos guys so thanks for hanging video, out with us gotta go plan our wedding mate smash like button comment subscribe <laughs> Toodaloo. talk to you soon